Libra, what does your person think? How do they feel? What are their intentions? And what are they likely to do about your relationship? Let's look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Libra. So let's see what's happening. Please check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign. All of them will give you very important information about your love life. Bottom of the deck energy, Ten of Swords. Okay, somebody's walked away. Somebody's exhausted. They're seeking healing at this time. We have the Five of Wands, feeling feisty, having a lot of love, having a deep desire for commitment. That's the overall energy coming into this reading. We don't know if it's your person's energy or your energy, though, so that's what we will soon find out. Okay. So, oh, Nine of Pentacles, baby, baby. They think you are Empress material. They feel as though this is pre-empress, this is single, ready to mingle. They see you as highly desirable. You embody all the traits and characteristics that they would find desirable. They see you as a potential one. The Three of Wands, well, there we go. They think of you as their person. The Three of Wands is your ships have arrived in the harbor. That's having already made the choice. Okay, so they have chosen you. They think that they need to let go of something. We see the judgment card here. Judgment is making a decision. I think that they've let go of any indecision here. So let's see what else they think. The judgment card also can indicate, we have to clarify that, but they can also indicate that they think that you've let go of them. So we'll have to see what that means. Okay, the Four of Wands. Well, they think you're the one. The Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, they don't want you to be single. They want you to let go of being single. In their heart space, Two of Cups, they love you. Soulmate energy, Cancerian energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy here, eight and nine, okay? So the Virgo energy says that in their heart space, they really want to work on this relationship with you. They want to learn more about you. They want to learn how to make you happy and how to have a fulfilling life with you. The Two of Coins, they're juggling an idea that has to do with a decision. It's two options. Your person could have two options, but I'm not really reading it that way. To me, it's like they're trying to figure out how to approach you. What's the best approach to you, Libra? That's what I'm seeing so far. Okay. So your person in their heart space is not quite ready to seal the deal. They still feel as though they need to learn more about you. They're, you know, we're seeing some indecision here in their heart space. What they think about you is, I need to marry Libra. You know, Libra's the one. Um, but in their heart space, they love you. They want to work on things. But they're not feeling that level of commitment yet, okay? Let's see their intentions with you. Okay, King of Cups, Ace of Swords. Chariot card, nice, okay. Ooh, the, oh, wow. Okay, so their intentions are to really get to know you much better. Their intentions are very scorpionic. This is a person who has lived through some very significant stormy times in their life. They've come out of it. They have had their wounds. They have healed their wounds. This is a person, this King of Cups energy is Scorpionic energy. So is a judgment card. When this person loves, they love, you know, they're sort of like uh, swans. They want to mate for life. And they will release anybody that they think has player energy also. They definitely feel very much dedicated to you. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is that they want to say, honey, I'm home. That's their intention because you're their happiness. But this is a person, I like to really describe this as the movie, The Perfect Storm. You know, it was, it was a movie about a ship that got wrecked and people didn't come back from sea, fishermen. But what we see here is now the captain of the ship of The Perfect Storm who brings her crew back time and time again. This is a person who knows what trouble is. They know how to survive trouble. They know how to thrive in trouble. They know how to master their own ship. 
So their intention is when they look at you and they see that you're honest, you're very lovely, that you deserve the best, they think that you have high standards, they know you have high standards, they appreciate that about you. They want to say, this is the emperor energy. They want to say, honey, I'm home, cancer. They want to have a abs an absolutely driving victory with you. They want to move forward rapidly. They see you as their, ha their happiness. You know, they see you as the penultimate day of sun in their life. They want to speak to you. When they get up in the morning, they want to speak to you. When they are going throughout their day, they just want to pop in and say hi. They like laughter. They like love making. They like embracing life for all the joy that it has and they have great appreciation in terms of their actions towards you devil cards so this person may feel controlling they may want to have it their way you know this is a person the devil energy is capricorn energy this person is very transfixed on having a situation in which they have a certain amount of control so their actions are that they are going to try to manipulate the circumstances to work with you possibly if you if you met this person through work they're going to try to arrange their work schedule so that you collaborate with them or work with them again but this is a very sort of a very a, i would say scorpio energy and capricorn energy this person wants to make absolutely sure they're obsessed with the idea of being able to manage a relationship successfully which makes sense they've been through a lot capricorn energy it's about karma this is about what happens as a result if you don't maintain control of the ship not very helpful energy not necessarily healthy energy however right now it looks like that focus of their actions will be on trying to collaborate with you again there is a strong work component here for the two of you so that might be the environment in which they would exercise that energy the ace of wands they're taking action they want a passionate new beginning with you and the nine of cups beautiful that is wish fulfillment but it's more like day to day should be fun this is a person who has a big fun button libra you know you might i don't see sagittarius energy here particularly but that is your sign of the opposite your seventh house of marriage is all about being happy go lucky the nine of cups is piscean energy your person intuitively knows that whatever they have with you you bring joy into their life two of the happiest cards in the deck right there so that's what we have in terms of their thoughts feelings intentions and actions so we're going to go ahead and clarify this and see what some of these cards mean. I'm going to only clarify the cards that look challenging and go in deep with those particular uh, cards. So we're gonna look at that judgment card. Why is this person feeling as though, what is it that they feel they have to release or that you have to release? They, this is their thoughts about you. So they may be obsessed think of, thinking about you too. <laughs> so let's see, why is the judgment card there? Why do they feel as though there has to be a release of thoughts, something in the thought process? What is it in the thought process that needs to be released? Tell us about that. Oh, <laughs> they're obsessed with you. Oh, they fell in love hard and fast. Oh, Libra. They feel as though they have to release that. Oh, look at this, a Ten of Cups energy. They have to release this obsession that they have with thinking that you are there happily ever after. They think about you constantly. They, they know that they can be very manipulative. They know they can be jealous. They know they can be controlling. They absolutely know that. But look at, they just, they're trying not to think about you. They are trying so hard not to think about how much they love you, how much they want you. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. These are marriage cards. This is a bride and groom at the altar sharing their vows. This is a family life that's joyful and happy. It's children. It's everything. The Two of Coins is a card clarifying this, that they, they're so obsessed with you, they can't even balance things. They're really trying not to think of you. So we have the clarification for the devil card here. So that is really an intense energy, Libra. The person is absolutely obsessed. What is it that they're trying to juggle? What is it that they're trying to juggle here? They're trying so hard not to be controlling. Well, Libra, you are the sign of balance. 
you are not going to put up with that. You can see the toxicity of that energy. Okay, so let's see, Libra. Two of Swords, yeah, they really know that you do not, you are not going to listen to anything that's crazy talk. Yeah. <laughs> they feel as though, so there is somebody around your person, Libra, that is a Queen of Wands, and so they have this person accessible to them. And so when I get the Queen of Wands, we're looking at this Two of Coins. So this person is very much trying to get their attention. And Libra, that is the Aries Queen. So that is somebody who's very different from you. Somebody who is very um, more focused on self. Very much Aries energy is more immature energy. But it's all about, you know, seduction and happiness and what they want. Your person still feels attracted to them. And in some ways, they may feel as though until you make a decision or you make a move that they're going to keep their options open just so that they don't get so obsessed with you. It's almost like they're trying to defend themselves. Yeah, Ace of Wands, okay. So there is a tie to somebody else. Um, now this could be somebody from the past, but it looks like this person is not significant. It's not their significant other. But they, you know, if you are new and dating this person, it does look like they keep this person around. But they won't. The death card, they will end this. When they feel secure in the relationship you that, with you, they will end this. In the meantime, they're certainly not going to tell you about it. The star card, they see you as a rock star. So their actions about this situation are that they will go with the flow. In terms of what's going on right now, they're not going to tell you their intentions. The four, the four coins is they're going to hold back. Your person feels like they have to hold back. They don't really have a choice in the matter strategically. It's like, you know, it's like the chariot card. They're driving the chariot fast, and they have to really maintain control of the chariot, or else it can topple. It can go wrong. It can go sideways. Tell us about the King of Cups energy, please, for beautiful Libra. Temperance card. They're trying to stay very balanced. Sagittarius energy. They're trying to really allow spirit to help them stay very calm, cool, and collected. They're very accustomed to this energy. This is how this person stays calm. They have a lot of faith. They have a lot of faith in their own judgment. They have a lot of faith in their ability to know quality, to know a quality person. They have faith in themselves, but they really have a very strong spiritual core the ace of swords the truth is, is you, they think that you are their soulmate why are, do they want to rush in honey i'm home cancerian energy oh my god the double truth <laughs> the, the double 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 truth the truth is, is that they cannot resist this the truth is, is that they see you as a person that they can't resist they must have you. That's their intention is to do whatever they can. They understand, though, they have clarity that you have a value system, and they have to honor that. They're trying to hold back. Oh, my goodness. They're trying to figure you out, too. They're trying to read your signals. They're trying to read the nonverbs going on in the relationship. They want to know if you're on the same page with them, and they're not making judgment about that right away. The Sun card says that they will be happy when they find out. They want winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is also somebody who would like to make you public display of affection number one with nobody else competing with you. That's like they see you as if they had a win in, or a victory in love with you, it would be like the Academy Awards. I've won. Look at this. Everybody thinks that I'm really great, that I'm cool, that I'm lucky, that I'm fortunate. And they most of all feel that feeling feel the feelings. I do get that there may be children uh, as a part of the situation that you're coming into with this person. There may be a previous marriage here that you have to deal with. Um, but, you know, this person feels very much like, you know, you can solve any problem. It's great energy. Libra, there you are. They feel as though you have mastery over your single life. Again, another, another uh, page here very much okay so let's see why they feel the devil card what is the exact meaning of that devil card for this person okay let's see what we have 
they want to run in and tell you. What do they want to run in and tell you? That you're the one for them. Oh my gosh, those two cards were stuck together. And remember, I pulled these out very separately in the deck. They want to run in and say, I don't want you to be single anymore. They're just really fighting that. They want to have a committed relationship with you. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there. What a beautiful reading for you. I think it's exceptional and um, I'm really excited for you. Thanks so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Let me know where you're from. Tell me what you think of the reading. Tell me if you like this style of reading. Do you like it where I just cut to the chase because you know how you feel and I just cut to the chase and I cover the person of interest. Let me know. Thank you.